Hello chess lovers, let's have a look at a very beautiful endgame study composed by a Ukrainian chess composer Lev Olmutsky. It's white to move and win the game, you can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, let's have a look at the position. White has two rooks, but black is threatening to promote one of his pawns to a queen. So white comes up with a brilliant idea to win the game. Let's see how it goes. Rook a3 check, king b4, rook b3 check, and now black has two options, either to play king c4 or king a4. Let's have a look first at the variation starting with king c4. Here comes rook c3 check, king d4, rook d3 check, king c4, rook c3 check, king b4, and a very strong move with double exclamation marks rook c7 allowing black to promote to a queen b1 queen and now if you play a move like rook b7 check black can simply respond with king c4 and this is an equal position let's go back but instead white comes up with another brilliant move rook d8 allowing black to promote the d pawn to a queen as well now comes rook b8 check king a3 rook a7 check Queen a4, you are capturing both queens and white is winning. Let's go back. Now, what if black plays king a4 instead of king c4, which we saw in the previous variation? Now comes a very strong move, rook g3, allowing black to promote one of his pawns to a queen. D1 queen for example, here comes rook h4 check, king b5, rook g5 check, king c6, rook h6 check, king d7, rook g7 check, and white is checkmating his opponent. What a brilliant endgame study by Lev Olmutsky. Your comments and questions please, and thanks for watching. Good luck.